Hi, I'm Mike Thornton, and today I want to show you how to use the LM Correct 2 plugin from New Gen Audio to produce multiple loudness compliant mixes for different delivery specs. So here we have a basic audio suite version of LM2 Correct in Pro Tools. And the left hand side will display the overall loudness and maximum true peak of the source file. The right hand side displays the target overall loudness and the maximum true peak level. These are the two pass fail criteria for most loudness compliant content in music, broadcast and live streaming workflows. In the middle here, there's a presets button. And when we click on it, it displays an extensive range of presets that cover most of the delivery specs around the world. But if you do need something different, then you can type in the appropriate values into the target boxes. And as I prefer to deliver minus three true peak, I'm going to modify the R128 preset. You can also enable and disable the overall loudness or maximum true peak options for maximum flexibility. There's also a one click option which if enabled from here in the options window, enables you to both analyze and process a file by simply clicking the render button. And of course, if you prefer to use the two stage process, you can first click the analyze button, which will display the source file measurements. And you'll notice that some of the numbers here are amber and that denotes that those particular measurements are outside of the spec set on the target side. But if we're all happy with that, then we can simply press the render button. Then LM Correct 2 will make a new loudness compliant version of that file. Now this is great for fixing a mix that wasn't quite compliant. However, with the proliferation of channels and delivery systems, more and more often we need to be able to deliver different versions of the same mix to be compliant to different delivery specs. New Gen Audio have added a new feature in LM Correct 2, which includes an intelligent true peak limiter, as well as being able to constrain the short term and momentary loudness, which you can enable and disable from the options window. And this feature is really helpful for producing mixes compliant to the new EBU R128 S1 spec for short form content like ads and trailers. Back in the main window, you can see that we now have a new row of parameters and we can choose to display either the maximum short term or momentary measurements. For short-term content, the EBU spec restricts the maximum short-term loudness, which is averaged over three seconds, to a maximum of minus 18 LUFS, or 5 LU above the target loudness. And you can see the LM Correct 2 defaults to that automatically. If you've bought LM Correct 2 with the Dynap option, then Dynamic Range Changes, or LRA in loudness speak, can be made, which is really useful for repurposing content. So perhaps taking a film mix and repurposing it for TV or producing a podcast from a radio mix. And again, you can turn that on and off from the options window. And whilst we're in the options window, you've also got a choice of four presets for this LRA option. Default, which is suitable for most audio material. Tight, that has a quicker response to loudness changes. Smooth, with a slower response to loudness changes. And Music, which is a setting designed for music-only programming. Now you can see that in the main window, we have the LRA source and target boxes. We need to make sure that all the appropriate features are enabled by checking these blue icons in the middle. In this example, I'm going to be taking this BBC Radio 3 documentary and prepare it for a podcast. So I want a true peak max of minus 3 dB true peak, so I don't overload the lossy codex. With the integrated loudness, I'm going to change that to minus 16 LUFS, which is my preferred loudness for online content, and then reduce the LRA down to six, 
But because this is a long form documentary, I'm not going to enable the short term max option. And now I'm happy, I can hit the render option. And then at the end, I'll have a file that is not only loudness compliant, but also dynamically optimized for online content suitable to be listened to on mobile devices in noisy environments. In this video, I've shown LM2 Correct as an AAX Audio Suite plugin in Pro Tools, but it's also available as a standalone application and in the CEP format for Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll see you again soon.